I know it's been a while, but we're back, and hopefully we're going to get back on the bandwagon with uh, The Walking Dead and get Season 1 done. Uh, now I can start Season 2. Uh, the Batman series, Telltale Series, is dropping tomorrow, so I'm going to hopefully buy that, get that episode done out of the way, the first episode of that. Look out! Hello! Stupid walker. I mean, how dumb do you get? Oh, that's the dumbest of the dumb right there. Clementine, can you hear me? Is anybody out if there? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Okay, right. Shit. So we're back to our old point and click adventure. The good old point and click. Real solid. No way I can pry that open. So this is the only way I can go. Trying to avoid slipping. This looks particularly precarious. Half eaten sewer rats. Walkers must be down here too. Well, of course, there's going to be dead bodies in the sewer. Come on. Where's like the one place you dump a dead body, Lee? Come on, seriously. Down the drain, where nobody can like get at it. Or find evidence of it. It's a drainage pipe. So can't get from there either. Wouldn't they hear that, realistically? Just, no, never mind. Hide. Looks like some kind of drainage pipe. Won't turn anymore in that direction. Okay. This is either a really wise or really stupid idea. Good thing I'm out here and not in there. Hmm, seems loose. Shit. Won't go anymore in that direction. Um, telling the truth, it's honestly been that long since I've done a Walking Dead video. I've forgotten. Mm. 
don't turn anymore in that direction. This direction then? Okay, fair enough. Let's try it. Shit, I'm gonna wanna move because they're gonna get attracted to that. Here they come. Dive back in that. Chuck! Oh my god. Chuck. He must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. Just one more left. This should be nice and easy. Bullshit. Go, God damn it. Don't want to use a gun too loud, it'll attract the others from over there. Um, they'll do it now. I can just hit you with that. One strike clean to the head. And none of them. See? Silence is golden when it comes to Walking Dead. No way I could pick that up on my own. Can't reach it. Ah! What the hell? A secret entrance, perhaps. Excuse me guys, that is my phone. I just check it. Uh it's a YouTube notification. The hell? Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Okay, right. Um YouTube comment guys, never mind. Wonder if someone's living down here. Uh, so unfortunately, keep people alive for months. The reason why I didn't do much to this is because I uh, my time is broken, so I need to get a new YouTube timer. So I'm guessing the time roughly. Who are you? It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now look i'm sorry i disturbed you folks i'll just be going you can't let him leave he's from crawford if he goes back there and they find out we're down here are you from crawford they don't lie to me i know where else can he be from everywhere else around here is dead i'm not from around here i'm from athens grew up in macon i have a brother in macon you were there how was it as bad as here i'm sorry you can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. Look, I don't want to do this. Let's talk, okay? What's to talk about? You won't even tell us who you are. My name is Lee. I'm a history professor. I don't want to die today. I don't think you want to kill me either. Don't. Don't come any closer, or I'll shoot. Okay. Come on. Let's go. 
Let's just talk about this. Vernon, what are you doing? Shoot him! Nobody needs to get shot. Just take it easy. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission, but that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This whole basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? The morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Thanks. I think I can figure out my own way back. Vern, you're not just going to let him go back out there alone, are you? Those sewers are like a maze. He's got no chance of finding his way back without a guy. You're not going to be able to get out of here on your own. But we all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care. And I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him? It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. Thank you. I'm extremely appreciative if it's, uh... <clears throat> Support group. Okay, achievement unlocked. Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey. You made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. The pick. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. 
I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Clementine. Clementine? Oh dear. Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Clementine? Okay, so now we're looking for Clementine. Uh... Clem, you in here? Clem's drawings. But where is she? See her anywhere out there. Uh, no walkers either, though. Okay, right then. So we are starting to come towards the end. Clementine, you here? Now, guys. Um, I'm gonna keep going with this. Hello? Um, like this could end up being a really long ass video. What are you doing? Oh, uh, you know. Just poking around. You won't find anything. We already Hello. searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? That. I just want to find Clementine. She's not going to be in there either. Music's building. Clem? Clementine? Everything okay in there? We're fine. Just leave us alone and let the doctor work. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, wrong door. Uh, right, okay. Let's go check in here quickly. I want to be thorough. Clementine, check every where are you? Want to be thorough? Check every single room. Sam? Actually, I think that leads back in the same room. Never mind. Uh, let's um. Go with, uh, shall we? Clementine! Yeah, there's an ensuite there. Clementine! Come out! Please! Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. You want to throw down again like back on the train? Because I fight better when I'm shit-faced. What the fuck were you thinking letting Kenny get like this? Hey, man, I tried, but he gave me a look like he was going to rip my face off. He won't listen to you. You think he was going to listen to me? To hell with you! Getting wasted's not going to help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Clementine! Come out, please! Here. Then you go check outside. Clementine? Clementine! Door 
house covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. Bushes. Oh yeah. Oh my God. I'll be damned! <laughs> what have I noticed all along? This was here the whole time? I know, right? Cucamobile! Hey! That a smile on that face! Hey, don't waste the booze, man! What if we need celebrating? Meat's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news or the bad news? I think we could all use some good news. Good news is, the boat's seaworthy enough. In pretty good shape, mostly. Mostly? That's the bad news. Gas tank's empty, and her battery's dead. We need to fix both before she's taking us any place. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. That's putting it mildly. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. Do I some know the cover bullshit. That runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. Hey! This comes in useful. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. 
Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Me neither. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Oh, uh, say what now? <laughs> you said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Uh. Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Can't I come with you? Okay, you can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. What you need to do? Put a makeup on, polish nails, or load up a weapon. This. Oh yeah, she's still got a pistol, hasn't she? I think. Probably loading that up. Okay, right then guys, I'm going to leave the first part here, hope you guys enjoyed, see you in the next one, and goodbye.